610. He's got to get new material. I couldn't remember if I was in height, so I went whip. Everybody here is already heard. I win. But uh, seriously, though, I am six foot seven. I weigh 422 pounds. Okay. I've actually lost 10 pounds this week for a total of 25 He lost 10 pounds this week and he's lost 25 I can't take care of 25, all right. My nice week, 25 is on vacation. He still needs to lose 200 pounds. Okay. But uh, one thing that, that uh, you get this big is hard to find clothing. Okay? I recently found that out when I tried to get a new wardrobe. Uh, apparently. Oh, yeah. I had to get the approval of all four people. Don't turn around and uh, go to uh, Walmart. I get those cheap yeah. shoes. We got the ones we're talking about the Star Trek. Right? Yeah. 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 Land counter by Levi Strauss. It's Levi Strauss. You know, my five and one blue jeans. I'm only like a half ton. Why didn't you tell me But uh, one thing about being this big is, is my girlfriend's not having it. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. She can't give me a hard time. Snack and stuff. 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 Snack and more specific, you have to give an attitude and longitude. Yeah, you know, being a comedian. But uh, when I got out of the shower for the first time, I didn't get you all the way out of that. But that was the real thing to me that I had to do. I needed help. I said, honey, can you, can you drive the back up? She said, I'm going to need a GPS for that much territory. <laughs> but the real thing was, uh, the last time we made love, she came to bed and went to that mountain climb. And then she was going to say, oh, she's going to come. Oh, she's going to come. I said, okay, then I'm going to catch you. I'm going to have to start dropping the weight. So, like I said, I've dropped 25 pounds over the last few weeks. No, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to give everybody the secret to losing weight. Decrease your walking. Okay, that's what I did. I cut my walking in half. Right? Instead of making four trips to the buffet, I will make two. Okay. But uh, one thing that, that uh, I attribute to my height, or my family's height, is I grew up in uh, Massachusetts. There's a nuclear power plant there called the Bosch. Okay. And uh, I wish the gentleman was here. He could verify it. Really, there's so many benefits to being that close to nuclear energy. They really are. Uh, height was just one of them. The other one is, I took a hot pocket and three yeah, it is. The other one was, I drove with things that we had blown with our condoms. Well, it's fun to watch your eyes when you're in the dark field. But, uh, yeah, you know, she heard me tell that joke, so she's kind of like, put the tie on from that. <laughs> The other night when we were out on the beach making love boats, yeah, we finally we get the people to come out. This is one of them. Apparently, a coast guard cutter thought I was signaling him from the beach. <laughs> Saw the, the blinking light on the beach and thought I was signaling him to signal him to read it for him. Who's your daddy? I don't know. That man from Daytona Beach and Smyrna Beach. Uh, and the shorts. <laughs> but uh, what I really, really uh, found offensive about my girlfriend's attitude about this was the other night we came home late. We got to the front door, and I thought she was trying to be amorous. You know, she told me to whip it out right there on the doorstep. I'm like, honey, go over inside in a minute. She goes, no, no, I need it out now. Right? I'm like, oh, she has to do the neighbors a show. That's cool. You know, that's so sexy, that's so exciting. You know? So sure, I was up front, I looked it right up, she put her purse under the light, and decided to put her keys to open the door. And I'm like, oh, man. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, Rockness levels. One thing that, that I want to do, uh, I, I know I'm a very important person as far as the way I look, but I want to use it to my advantage to invite me. Street. Just walk into a bar, 
walk up to the toughest guy on the entire bar, you know, doesn't know me. Yeah. He looks straight in the face. I want to open up both. You know you had a good night. Okay? If Charlie Sheen calls you up and tells you to get help, <laughs> you know you did something spectacular. If the Dalai Lama goes into a swearing fit every time your name is mentioned from now on, yes, that was a good one. And if the Catholic Church has sent a priest to your house in the morning to exercise you, I wish I was at that party. <laughs> But uh, the one true way you can tell if you've had a really good time tonight was you came out here to Sting Race, you saw some fantastic acts, and we hope that you keep coming back. Very good, Jim. Let's give it up one more time for Mr. Jim Thank you.